go. Little Fennec here. He's ready to go. Bill Fennick. He's a fan favorite. Here we go, Mudrik Mohammed, Bill Fennick. Both men looking very calm, cool, collected. All their training from the past weeks and months has added up to this moment. And who's going to get there fastest with the mostest? X loves. Fennec with the board shorts. Mohammed, the black ballet judo. Oh, excellent little takedown. Read the, read the kick very well. Staying on those legs very well. Good head position by Fennec up against the cage. This is the third time tonight, Chris, that Lester shoot are having a, having a tear up with five elements. <laughs> a bit of a team rivalry. They're, they're on one team. and one. They've got one victory each. Is it going to be Fennec or is it going to be Muhammad tonight? Who's going to be the Who's going to be the decider of the rubber match? Good leg kick there. Okay, both fighters looking to establish range, use their jabs. Muhammad's usually very fast, but you see he's got all these misgivings because Fennec's throwing all those feints at him. Yep. Fennec's circling kind of the wrong way a lot of the time. Often he kind of gets out of range to do it, so he's, he keeps safe. What I mean by that is when he goes to Muhammad's right, that's dangerous because he's walking towards the power hand of Muhammad, but he moves out of range when he does it. It's almost a John Jones S like pouring jab. It's like it's not really a jab, it's just it's the range finder. A lot of guys are wrestling background seem to do that, seem trying to test the distance. Yeah, strong oh. takedown first. Looking for a big left hook there. He is. That's the thing with Mohammed. He throws like one, two, big shot. One, two, big shot. The first two won't be very much anything, but then he throws. Oh, big. lovely timing on that, but didn't get it even with the timing. Just didn't turn the corner on that one, Chris. Yep. He had a really good working him backwards. He just need to just turn to his left. Oh, okay, pick that up. Okay. Pick oh, another it. leg. Wow, big take. Excellent down. scoop slam. And that, I think, drove the wind out of Mahali because he just settled here for a moment there. Is that the technical name, Steve? The scoop slam, I like that. Scoop slam, yeah. I like that one. It's very hard to do that one, but he just had that leg right up. Yeah. He kind of Mr. Muscled it. Quite a power move, but he pulled off. Now he's on top, really weighing heavy on Mohammed. And that speed's going to disappear as the blood fills up in the shoulders. Yeah, I just feel like the Phoenix, the bigger fighter, Steve, is like maybe just cut a little bit more weight. I did think, I did think that. Oh, arm spinning arm lock attempt. Not bad, not bad. He didn't get it, but I appreciated the technique. He's doing really well getting there with the jab, is Fennec. Bit of a herky jerky style he's got, but he's doing well to land here. You can tell Fennec is a brave man because he walks around with that hairstyle. Yep. Oh, lovely kick. Oh, side kick. I'm really enjoying watching Fennec. <laughs> Everything's just scoring here. Yep. It just seems to be hitting him with everything. I think that's just frustrating Muhammad. And as you notice, maybe the bigger man, I'm pretty sure we've seen Muhammad before at 66 kilos. Yep. He's obviously very muscly, very strong. He just needs to have a bit of confidence to start making those connections. Yeah, I mean, Fennec seems like quite a big 70 kilo guy. He must have had to cut a little bit of weight. There are some hideous shoes on the corner man of Fennec though. When you talk about this, Steve, they're kind of five finger slippers. Are you really against the Vibrams? Because my wife hates Vibrams. Like I had a pair for, oh, for a little while and she wouldn't let me wear Actual Vibram shoes, but they're like, they're weird ones. What are they? They're like a ski, like- It looks like Italian uh, Vibrams. Italian Vibrams. It's like you want to show the top. I got hairy feet, Steve. This is why it upsets me. I don't want to show the top of my feet, my little hobbit feet. Yeah, just have a little tuft coming out the top. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're calling for the overhand right. They're saying jab, jab, overhand right. That seems I mean, like a solid technique. Yeah. Seems like a solid technique. I would say more jab, jab, take him down and smash his face in on the ground. But, you know, 
I no, think I'm going to just try to look to finish it. I think it's one of those coaching things between you want to see what was the thing your fight had the most success with in round one because it might be they're a fantastic striker but they actually were winning the grappling exchanges and you need to go in there and be like look this is the plan he did really well working the jab and the low kick i think yep. jab low kick jab low kick time the takedown and i'd be saying for i'd be saying mudrick is just to get in there be first be first the whole time now yeah he's, he's just Guys he's got, got a little go. bit trigger shy in this fight and it could just be that little difference in range he's used to fighting just someone with the kind of arms that are an inch shorter and it means he can get more in his range. But more where he's staying at the moment is right on the end of Fedek's punches. I think more feints from, from Mudrik Mohamed. And Maybe less power shots. Don't load up on anything. Maybe he's worried about the takedown, Steven. It's, it's making him a little trigger shy to throw his shots. And I mean, Fedek did duck under a shot and get the takedown in the first round. we got even little kids back here saying kick the leg. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> the sort of the knee. Kick his leg. <laughs> That's right, there you go. Take the advice. Fennec did the that kicking range is good for, for Mudrik Mohamed. Yeah, and Fennec looked to catch it, so if I was Mudrik, I'd fake low and then go high with it. Jab, use your jab. Yeah, Mohamed just, just hasn't, doesn't look as elusive as we've seen him before. Just a little bit flat footed in this fight. I think he was put down by the power there. Early on with that slam. Oh, he's just so worried about the takedowns. He wants the base. He wants to be in range too. You're right. You're right about the range. Yeah, he needs to get all the way in or all the way out. As soon as he steps in, he's happy to throw. Fennec doing a lot of moving around here. And he scoops in again. Catches the underhook. Does Mudrik Mohammed. He's able to stuff it. Okay, nice knee on the break. Oh, lovely power on that. Now we're seeing him let go of it. Oh, a bit lackluster in response from Fennec. All of his kicks just seem to be a little bit of nothing. <laughs> well, but it, have to be, but it doesn't, it doesn't need that if you're going to be able to take him down like that. He's got to lock the body and try to take him the other way with authority. But the Conor McGregor, you know, he doesn't always throw a lot behind his kicks, but it sets things up. That's very good, very good advice there from the five numbers corner. Get head position, then you can get your breath. It's true. You got to win that nope. positioning battle. Then you don't have to work so hard. No reason to rush. Once you got control. Oh, great work! I think it's another round for sexy curls. Yeah, the fringe Fennec. The fringe Fennec. There we go. We got. We're getting all sorts of all sorts of nicknames tonight. But Mudrik Mohamed has <laughs> got to be a bit frustrated there with the the movement of Fennec is really good. He's stinging off those jabs and he's stinging on the leg kicks. We saw some power leg. We saw a power leg kick from Mudrik Mohamed. It just didn't seem to land. Yeah, for me, Steve, it just feels up. like he's got the wrong range. He's just he stood right on the end of uh, Fennec's punches, and he's not doing that thing of being far away or coming in. And you know, I'm, I'm six foot five. I'm usually the tall guy when I fight. And it's so annoying when you get the short guy that's on your toes or too far away. And they just cover that distance. Mohammed's just staying in that middle ground, which is exactly where Fennec wants him. Yeah, he's in that kind of like that yellow zone where he can be tagged. But Fennec is moving around so well that he can't be hit back. They're, set, they're calling for more boxing from the Leicester shoot corner, but I think he needs to set it up with more feints. Faint, faint, jab, faint, faint, jab, and then look for the right. He's trying to lead with the right or lead with the left hook, and that's playing right into Fennec's game right now. Have you done any interviews, Steve? You haven't done any yet. No, we're going to do those for the uh, undercard, for the main card. This is the prelims. We're on oh, prelims yeah. right now. Welcome to the prelims. Some amazing prelims. The UFC Fight Pass prelims. <laughs> prelims on Fox. Free on Facebook. There you go, there you go. Now Mohammed backing him up. This is small. Again, again, he telegraphs that hook. Push the head down if he wants to avoid it here. Good. Oh. Lands a knee on the way up. Good. This is the difference a good corner man like Nathan Levinson can make. You can tell you, look. Change of plan, be on your toes, be aggressive. 
Good, good. That's a good spot. Yeah, the aggression is working so much better for Mohammed. But this is the problem with the size difference There's and the head positioning. The Wear on him and recover. That's a good cornering. A terrible shoes for that man, but excellent cornering. Yeah, very good advice. Very good advice. You're giving you're you're giving your fighter all the confidence they need to hold on to the position. Getting some calls for action, which is fair from Alan Jackson. And that, that's where Mujik Muhammad wanted it, and Fenix just taking it, standing there in the pocket and throwing a lot of missed strikes. Yeah, I think Muhammad's doing the right thing. He's kind of throwing caution to the wind and throwing big shots because. There's a good chance he's two rounds down. He's, well, he has been throwing caution to the wind and throwing big shots the whole time. It's just, it's just, just very singles. Just used to set him up a little bit more, but just a touch lighter on his feet. Now he's got to defend this single. Now a double for Fennec. And he's pretty much got it got defended here. He's gone back he's to the single. Back That's to the smart. Single try to scoop him out. Oh. Cage saved you there. Oh. But only for a minute. You can only do too much. Seen some really good wrestling tonight, Steve. Yeah, they're all mixing up very well. Very good chained attacks there from Fennec. Single, double, single again. This is what we've seen from Battle Arena. We've seen a huge evolution of the fighters over the, the time that me and you have been commentating. We've seen, you know, it used to be, especially the undercard, this is the, the prelims of the prelims are on at the moment. And it used to be, you know, these guys were sketchy, let's just say that. And now it's proper gyms, pro coaches, and the fighters of such high level, even on these prelims. Oh, fantastic positioning from Fennec, just trapped the legs. Yeah. Almost Khabib esque, crossing his feet underneath and now into a traditional full mount. He's got the opportunity to put the finish on here to try to put an exclamation mark on what's been a great performance over three rounds for Bill Fennec. Well, I was trying to get that leg trap escape. One of my favorite escapes, and he gets it, get back, gets back to half. He's really got to get up on his side there. Yeah, now he needs to get on his right he's side. But he's got the under. Oh, he's going for a lockdown. Can he get a banana split or something amazing in the last few seconds? doesn't have the movement now. He's got the leg, he's got the... He's got to roll. He's, he's not far off a banana split, Steve. If he can get his shoulder underneath the leg. He's got to get up now. He's got to come up with it. I don't think Fennec is going to tap to the stretch. Oh! Oh, the torture of having a submission with seconds to go. Look, he's trying to finish it. He's getting the stretch, Steve. Oh, he's lost he's the leg. Yeah, lost the lockdown, but now oh. he's back on top. Wow! What a way to finish. Nearly saved it, dude. You see so much... <laughs> so much potential there from... Mudrik Muhammad at the very, very end, but the night calling belongs to Bill, Bill Fennec for just tons and tons of activity, great movement, and great cornering. Here we're going to go for the judge's decision momentarily. Mudrik Muhammad's got to be a bit disappointed. He had a really good showing there just in the last 30 seconds or so. Bill Fennec was all over him from the start, mixing it up with punches, kicks, and takedowns. And as it is mixed martial arts, that's what we're looking for, a balance of everything.